We spent an incredible amount of work on set and character design because every single detail is crucial to tell this engrossing story. The sets and characters are very diverse and the story stretches over 15 years. So the challenge for us was to achieve this diversity while keeping an organic look to it all, a visual coherence that makes everything fit together. So we start with a script. It's a really huge Bible describing all the location, the characters and action sequence. We, we've done some uh, mood boards. It's a kind of mix between many references. It could be picture, drawing, concept art. The artist's concept must give substance to ideas, and our objective is to give everyone a common document that we will share. There is a first shield that I did like this, and then I made many variations to show how it could react to effects. We grab many pictures, and after that, we create what we call pack design. A pack design is a kind of Bible linked to one sequence, one location on one main character. The 3D production is starting from this point and we can produce internally by the Quantic Dream graphic team, but also with some uh, outsourcing partners. On Beyond, it's quite challenging to design uh, characters because they are based on famous actors. So as to really recognize their faces and their profiles, we use a thorough technical process with complete body scan, higher detailed scans for the face, and a photo shoot which is very precise to have all textures and skin colors of the actors. We just use the 3D scan as reference because scanning someone is not magic. We go to 3D and start building, sculpting the characters. To work on the character emotion, I really lingered over the expression, the eyes, the mouth, the same places that we look when we speak to someone. On each one of these parts, we could put the camera very close and see the pores of the skin, see that there is texture on the whites of the eyes. Our ability to provide careful attention to each detail enables the gamer to focus on emotion and on the actor performance. Nothing's going to stop me from seeing her. We produced various effects on characters because they needed to react to all the things they go through. It means underlining their sadness with believable tears when they're in distress. They're back. They're all around me. And injuring them when they get into a fight. These elements had to be visible yet subtle in order to avoid caricature. This required close collaboration with the team in charge of lighting in order to correctly highlight these details. Tell them to leave me the fuck alone, because next time, I'll kill everyone. In scenes with bad weather, or when the character goes through natural elements like a river, we must find the right balance between what visually happens in the background, what happens to the character, and even sometimes what can be visible on the camera lens, for example, water flowing on the screen. What was unique is being able to make Jody uh, evolve. Uh, we can follow her uh, through uh, uh, many years, since childhood. We build uh, close to uh, 70 uh, version of uh, Jodie. She experiences so many moments that we could make her character very distinctive according to the period of her life. We have to propose a particular and different emotion through each version of Jodie. So we spend many time with the artist concept and fashion designer to dress, to see how we could change the haircuts of an actor to make him younger or older in a consistent way. One of the main challenges was to make Jodie look younger. We had very few references and it was very delicate work because we didn't know if we were getting it right. When we put the trailer online, Ellen came back to us and told us her mother had recognized her at the age of nine. That's the best compliment we can receive as character artists. Hello, Jody. Come in. In Beyond, we follow mainly Jody and also our close relation, for instance, Dawkins. I thought it would be a good idea for us to have a little chat, get to know each other a little better. We can see him growing and reaching maturity. He begins as a laboratory scientist and he finishes by directing a whole department. We wanted to give him a paternalistic side with Jody and at the end, an authoritarian aspect. There are more than 300 characters in the game. Once we created a digital double like the one of Ellen or Willem, if others are not as good, we will see it immediately. So there was a considerable effort to bring all the characters of the game at the same level than the main characters. The highlight of Beyond was to go through an epic journey with Jody, spanning 80 different set pieces. 
it's slightly different from heavy rain. Uh, we have a much more huge palette of scene and environments. It could be a Navarro desert, uh, tiny rooms, huge complex. It's hard to manage because we are talking about small and tiny rooms with a huge level of details and also a kind of open world environment where we need to improve the same level of details. One of the biggest challenges was to create an open world that we can see in the Navajo sequence. The scenery represents about two square kilometers. It's been a joint effort between the vision of David, the technical restrictions, and the artistic vision. Another challenge was to build a section of a city. We did a lot of research on homeless people lived in the United States, and so we worked together to characterize each nook and cranny. I guess we pushed on both our engine and the capabilities of the PS3. We also make the sequence changing according to the weather. We move from a sunny Navajo set to a completely snow-covered homeless set. We can find ourselves in atmospheres totally different, but inside the same sequence. We move from a daytime environment to a sunset and nighttime environment. This is the same sequence, the same street, but a totally different atmosphere. The set is rarely in the same state when we begin the sequence and we finish it. For all our effects, we relied heavily on our internally developed particle system because it allowed us to display a large number of small particles in which we could apply physics-based dynamics. Thanks to this, we've been able to have Jody escape a collapsing, burning building while at the same time outside, there's a blizzard of about 50,000 flakes. In Beyond, we speak about Jody, but also about our connection with an entity. It was a real challenge for us. When we go through an object, we have to foresee the interior of this object. So we had a lot of detail to let the gamer having fun and to make the world around Jody and Aiden more uh, consistent. In Beyond, there is an important fantasy element as well that includes creatures, entities, etc. In the beginning, we thought about something quite marine, but with an aquatic creature, it was almost too real. So we changed our idea towards something more polluting, more dark. Entities don't really have defined shapes, but however, they are very uh, frightening. Imagining and creating the infraworld was also a great challenge. We had to think of a plausible, aesthetic way of representing what lies beyond. Souls disintegrating and taking shape again, for instance. Beyond is a very challenging project. Everybody in the team tried to push hard the limits of the PS3 just to be able to recreate this journey in the life of Jody's homes.